So today, we're gonna be playing the ladder in hopes that we can just go up and hopefully, just hopefully get to as, just win as many trophies as I can. We're gonna be using my main deck and let's see how many trophies can we get in this video. My name is Two Mike, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Before we get started into today's video, just want to um, advertise the clan like, uh, like always, uh, Smashing Tunes. Um, there is three spots left in the clan, so if you guys want to join, you can just join whenever you want to. If you guys don't have the trophy requirements, um, just let me know. Just let me know down in the comments, and uh, I'll switch up the trophy requirements so that you guys can join. Uh, unfortunately, people are leaving the clan um, because they don't like the clan or because they are quitting the game because the game ever since they added level 25 to the to the game people has been quitting because level 25s and people literally maxing out their decks in one day that is a lot of money and it's unfortunate that people are facing level 25 players literally at the first day of the update like that's that's just that's just rough like what can you do to win right um but yeah uh okay so this guy's giving me the lovely night face i'll give him the lovely night face back uh we can heal up the um the the this frost fox and hopefully we can enchant the mice spender since the mice spender goes next yes we also hit the warrior for that double heal okay um, we are at 3,600. Hopefully we can go higher, right? Hopefully we can get to 38 or even 3,900 trophies in this video. Um, I'm already at Grand Champions. For those who don't know, um, I literally got Grand Champions in the second day of the season when I usually struggle. So, uh, we already have the Grand Champions reward set. So we can claim it on Monday. And uh, let's see what he wants to do with this uh, with the Yeti here. Hopefully... Ah, no, the Shaman's gonna die. Yep. All right, so the Shaman did die, so we could not enchant the Barbarian, which is sad. So we need to try to deal as much damage as we can to the Barbarian while slowly chipping damage to literally everybody else. Uh, well, that was not the best play, but it's only the Paladin could not, couldn't punish uh, too much about it. So he's going to double hit the Naga and hit the Frost Fox. This, this person is honestly just playing awesomely. Uh, yep, let's double hit the warrior and hopefully we can go back and heal up the frost fox some more. There you go. Also hitting the barbarian. That was very good. The frost fox is actually full health, right? Yep. The frost fox is fully healed. He is gonna take on my naga, sadly. Of course, the barbarian still still keeps getting hits somehow. The barbarian still keeps getting hits. Every every hit that she gets, she'll be buffed up, and that's not good. But look at that, we actually took out the Barbarian and the Warrior because of that burn. Alright. Okay. Alright, so the first game, we we set in stone, we won this. Uh Oh gosh, that was... Oh my. Very, very nice play right there with the Yeti. Good game though. Good game, my dude. Good game. He is happy regardless. Hey, it's, you don't see every day that they accept defeat and they're still happy. And they're still happy that they lost. Or not happy that they lost, but... You know, they're not sore losers, you know? Very happy to see that. Let's hop into another one. Who knows, maybe that person recognizes me. Who knows? Alright, so... Okay, so this deck is a little bit uh, difficult to face. If you guys don't know, I used to have somewhat of a similar deck to this. I uh, It's literally the same deck with the exception of the Mice Bandit. I would use the Golem. And it's pretty tough. Oh my gosh, that Shaman almost died in one turn. But we can actually enchant... The Naga and the Zombie, and everybody will be enchanted. So, the Shaman already did his job. So, the Shaman can die now. I mean, obviously, we don't want him to die, but he is gonna die. So, so, um, I guess, yeah, we gotta try to go for... I don't know if we should go for the Naga, the Striker, or the Mice Bandit. I honestly don't know. I guess we'll go for the Mice Bandit, try to double hit, and hopefully the Frost Fox can go up and hit the Naga. Okay, so we did kill off the Mice Bandit, but did you see the Frost Fox going in between the Striker and the Naga? Like, how did that happen? Like, seriously. So I guess we can double hit the Naga here. Hopefully... 
Well, I guess that's it, really. He surrenders! Let's go, GG, my dude. Sorry that you had to surrender, but you honestly still have a chance. You could've just poisoned and then from there you could've just did something awesome right there. So we'll just claim the gold and the tokens and also claiming more tokens. Win five matches. Alright, so we'll see if we can do that. Um, a person in the comments actually wrote me saying, you know, what's the best way or what what kind of cards should, should you upgrade first? My opinion, upgrade your comments. Upgrade your comments first. It is the fastest way you can actually uh, level up and max out your comments if you actually have enough cards to max out the common, right? And uh, people up here, as you can see, right now I'm facing an all common deck um, because that is the easiest ways to level up. You know, just always, always level up your comments first. Um, it's just easier and it's they're, they're strong regardless. Having an all common deck is strong. You cannot go wrong with leveling up your comments first. And um, they also asked me what is the best way to use your gems on. So in my opinion, it's best to use it on Majestic Challenges. If you are certain that you are pretty good and you're going to get at least 4 or 5 wins. If you can get 4 to 5 wins, um, then it'll be worth it for 100 gems. And that way you can continuously you know, just win a lot of cards. Even with 4 or 5 wins, it is worth it to spend 100 gems. So if you can get that constantly, you will um, level up your cards super quick. My Frost Fox is almost dead. We need to heal him up as quick as we can before we lose him. And this should be pretty interesting. By doing this, hopefully we can, get, we can get at least a triple hit or a quadruple hit too. So we'll do this. That was a quadruple heal. Let's go. How is the Mice Bandit still alive? He says, well played. Let me give him the thanks. Um, The, fr the Franz Fox has 1800 health. A double hit will be very dangerous, but he missed a double hit. How did that happen? Wow. So I guess we'll take out the warrior and the mice bandit here. He surrendered. We failed to hit the mice bandit too. GG my dude. I'm sorry that... Yeah, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah. Um, 100 gems. If you, if you have enough gems, then yes. Try to go for the majestic challenge. And just try to get at least 4 to 5 wins. Obviously you want to go farther. But once you hit that 4 to 5 win mark, then you're good to go f for spending 100 gems, you know? Uh, let's actually try to double hit the Goblin, hopefully can hit the Barbarian. And hopefully enchant the Barbarian? Nah, the, nah, the Paladin was in the way. And also, try to do skill shots. Um, skill shots is a daily thing, and you can win so many rewards the Naga died. The Naga is still alive, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can enchant that Warrior and then hit it towards the Naga. But yeah, um, we missed the Naga. Um, but yeah, um, if you could... Don't uh, tr try to do skill shots every day because it is literally a decent amount of rewards daily, and you cannot complain with daily, you know, daily rewards, right? Um, ouchie, what am I supposed to do here? Let's see if we can enchant the barbarian as well. Nope. Um, but yeah, if you um, don't aim for first place, that, that you would be using a lot of tokens. Try to aim for top 10. Um, it does not matter which placement you get in the top 10. As long as you get top 10, um, you're going to get rewards daily. And a lot of rewards. Uh, I cannot even heal up the Frost Fox. Well, technically I can by doing this. If we can double hit the Warrior by doing this. Okay, so we actually healed up the Frost Fox too, thankfully, because of the Paladin. So the Frost Fox can stay alive just a bit longer. Okay, we just lost both troops. Um, great. The Frost Fox is barely alive. I, yeah, we lost this one. There's no way we're gonna win this one. If he keeps the Frost Fox alive, I'm gonna... Well, honestly, it does not matter at this point. They're both very low health. Yeah, we lost. Nicely played right there with the making the Barbarian bounce back. Good game. Um, but yeah, um... Try to aim for top 10, because if you can get top 10 every single day, then you're going to get lots of rewards, and it, it, it adds up quick. Trust me, it adds up quick. And um, if you don't have enough tokens, all what I, what I can recommend you is, you know, like every 6 hours, 
watch it watch an ad you get four uh, four tokens uh every single time you watch an ad and of course you're gonna win a single token every two hours and um i do not recommend you wasting you know the token slot just try to go for either a one token um challenge or a five token challenge if you don't want to waste your tokens so that way you you have a chance to gain top 10 and at the same time you are accumulating your tokens oh my gosh my frost fox is almost dead not good um we're gonna i cannot even hit the naga so we're just gonna hit the frost fox and we should also be able to hit the sorceress right here there we go we actually double hit the sorceress you know i will take that but unfortunately, this guy has some, this guy has a very interesting deck. He has two negative enchantment troops, and has the Naga and the Frost Fox. I guess is to try to keep the Frost Fox alive. But however, it's just interesting. We should be able to take out the Frost Fox. Yep, we do need to take out. Oh my gosh, his Frost Fox is still alive. We're gonna lose the Naga. Well, thankfully, the Frost Fox is doing lo less damage, but... Golly! Alright, so let's heal up the, the Naga for sure. Hopefully take out that zombie. With the damage to the Naga too, we'll take it. Honestly, I don't know I don't know if I prefer Poisoned or the Hex. Honestly, I think I prefer the Poison. Oh, never mind, we lost the Naga too. Okay, so we have quite a bit of a predicament here. We need to try to make a comeback here somehow. But we should enchant the Naga for sure. Hopefully we can take her out right here. No, not really. Um, and if he enchants the Shaman, and I think he will right here. Yeah, he, he will and he will. Great. So now we definitely need to enchant the... um, Or not enchant, take out the Naga. Okay, so we took out the Sorceress. Yay. The sorceress already did her job. So uh, he's laughing. He is laughing. Yeah, facing against the frost fox. There is there's no way we're gonna win this one. This guy's just laughing. Oh, can we get another hit? Nice. We actually took out the Naga. Why is this guy laughing? Can you imagine if I beat him? Can you imagine? Okay, obviously we need to go, we need to go after the frost fox because there's somewhere we're gonna be able to win if I go after the the um the zombie and of course I failed to make the frost fox go up. I why is this guy laughing? Is he saying wow wow? Bruh. I don't know what to say here. This must be an eight-year-old. That's all I can say. An eight-year-old that spent that is using her mom's, uh, his mom's credit card, to just be up here. You know, <laughs> not being toxic, but why? Why do you have to laugh, dude? Just, just take the win. You don't have to be toxic, you know. So let's play another one. Ooh, okay. So it's pretty much the same deck as I used to have. With the exception of the armadillo, we use the golem instead of the armadillo, but having an armadillo could be pretty good. However, the armadillo removes the enchantment, which is pretty interesting to see. The naga does go next, but I don't think I'm going to be able to enchant the naga. So let's see if we can enchant the striker and the zombie. Might as well enchant two troops instead of he surrendered. You still had a chance, dude! No! Aww. So... Well, that was a very anticlimactic match. We'll just open an orb and uh, I'll be right back. A few moments later. And we are back 3696, trying to get to at least 3800 in this video and I'll be super happy. Obviously, trying to win trophies is good. Um, okay, so his bomber goes first. Let's see if we can enchant the bomber first because we would like to try to enchant troops that goes next, especially with having the shaman. So that way the damage that they will do obviously would be lessened. So we can stay alive just a little bit longer. So with my... Ooh, that hurts, my dude. That hurts. Um, 
we could try to push the knight out of the... Mm, or should we just go for the assassin? We'll go for the assassin. Hopefully the assassin does not end up in a place where the knight will push the assassin towards my troops. And honestly, that's... He can still do it. It's just very difficult for him to do. So I'm happy with the play that I just did there. Ouchie! So we will... I Well, I guess hit the, the bomber once. I don't think we're going to be able to double hit the... um. I don't think we're going to be able to double hit the bomber here. No, we were not. But still, the bomber is almost dead. The assassin goes next. We don't have to worry about his ability right now. His damage output, however, golly! We could... Yeah, we can definitely enchant the assassin here. We should. There you go. Actually, we just took out the assassin. We'll definitely take that. We're getting a little bit worried about the assassin being there. Still alive. But uh, he's dead. The goblin goes next. Let's see what he wants to do here. The naga seriously got hit. Bruh. The naga got hit. No way. So I guess we'll heal up the frost fox, hit the goblin. Hopefully the naga will take out the goblin. We actually took out the bomber, not the goblin. The goblin is still alive. But very low health. So the paladin will die if he stays there. Or if the, he doesn't move the bomb. He will hit the shaman. Oh, well played. Well played. He moved the shaman. Well played, my dude. Um, let's, yeah, we'll take out the goblin. Because the goblin still does a lot of damage and we don't want that. We should be able to hit the knight as well by making the frost fox bounce off the walls. There you go. So, the frost, uh, the knight being super tanky has the same amount of health as I do. He will take out the shaman for sure. Alright, so the naga is still alive so we can deal damage, extra damage that he can do. So we just need we just need to make the Naga hit the Frost Fox and that'll be what over uh, about a thousand damage really? Oh my gosh, the Frost Fox double hit the knight. That is a game changer. So he double hits the Frost Fox, okay. This is honestly becoming a little bit dangerous. Let's see if we can double hit the knight here. Hopefully the knight will go up to towards the Naga. Imagine that. Oh my gosh! Okay. Somehow the knight uh, the frost fox triple hit the knight. We shall definitely take that victory. So 26 trophies, we'll open another orb, so I'll be right back, guys. A few moments later. And we are back, 3722, finally in the 3700s. Hopefully we can continue with this momentum and have the same luck as we have in a couple of, you know, the past two matches. Banshee Yeti combo, very dangerous. His Banshee goes first, okay. If he moves the Banshee downwards, he's not going to be able to enchant anybody, okay. So, okay, for sure. Nobody's enchanted. That's good. We can definitely enchant the, the Banshee there. Wow, we actually got the Yeti and the Barbarian too. That was super lucky. Super lucky, I gotta admit. He will use the Yeti's ability and he will hit nobody, thankfully. So let's also enchant. We can enchant the Cultist or should we just go after the Banshee? Try to take, him, take her out. Yeah, we'll, I guess we'll try to take out the Banshee. Oh my gosh, the Banshee is still alive. Alright. At least the Banshee is low health. So, one hit, right? Oh, do not mean to touch my camera. Yeah, one hit from anybody and she'll die. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so we definitely need to take out... Well, I cannot hit... Okay, we can. So we can hit the Banshee plus the Barbarian right here. Especially try to hit the Barbarian since the Barbarian got that speed buff. We need to try to re-enchant her as we can, of course. Enchant the Cultist. I should, I, maybe I should have went for the Cultist, but I just wanted the Banshee gone so that she stops enchanting troops with speed buffs. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully the Frost Fox is not close enough to get hit by that. It was? No friggin' way it was, dude. Um, I guess we'll go after the Cultist. Also heal up the Frost Fox a little bit. Yeah, we'll try to hit the cultist towards the shaman and then heal up the frost fox by doing this. Okay, that did not work out. But at the same time, we did heal up the frost fox. Frost fox, stay alive! No, he is definitely not going to stay alive there. And of course, the shaman also gets hit with that, with the ability. Well, with the shaman going next, we can definitely enchant the last two troops with the damage nerf. 
We actually heal up the Naga. That was actually pretty lucky. The Naga, I mean, the Barbarian is almost dead. Thankfully, the ability did miss on the Yeti right there. We can definitely take out the Barbarian. Or should we try to double hit and then hit the Barbarian? Double hit and then Barbarian. Let's go, guys. So, Yeti is almost dead now. We just need to worry about the Cultist because I, I'm not too worried about the Yeti, even with his ability. So, we'll try to take out the Cultist because the Cultist ability can still, is honestly still pretty dangerous. Thankfully, he missed right there. We can definitely hit the Cultist towards the Naga and even take out the Yeti right here. The burn was also enough to take out the Cultist. Let's go. We got the double kill for the win, guys. So now we got a three win streak. So we're going to get plus 10 trophies. Super happy with that. One more win. So we can uh, claim the, the daily reward. And uh, let's open this horse. So I'll be right back, guys. A few moments later. And we are back. 3765. Hopefully there's one more win. If we can get this win, of course. We can get to 3800 trophies. Um, Just trying to have a good video. That's all. Um, playing the ladder is honestly, like like I usually say, pretty difficult. Oh, we can actually enchant both the Mice Bandit, since the Mice Bandit goes first, and the Warrior right here. And there you go. Alright, so we, now we got two troops enchanted, already starting off pretty awesome. And of course, the Warrior actually goes after the Mice Bandit, so less damage for him. Super happy with me. He may double hit the Naga here, and even though she, he has less damage, the ability is not affected. And that is pretty dangerous. Thankfully, he only got that one hit. Uh, should we just go... Hmm. I, should we, should we just go for the damage on the, bar, on the warrior? Yeah, I think we'll, I think we can. We'll just hit the warrior. Okay, we actually hit the, the assassin. But the naga, the naga is going to receive a lot of damage here. Because of the assassin and the bomber alone. Okay, so the Naga died. <laughs> the Naga died, uh, uh, sadly. But if we can enchant the bomber there. We could try to enchant the bomber. And if we can, by doing this, there you go. Almost hitting the assassin, imagine that. But the bomber is, is uh, now doing less damage, thankfully. Hopefully, he does not kill off the, the shaman. So hopefully, he misses his double hit. Do not get a double hit, please. He failed to get a double hit. Okie dokie. So let's... We, I don't think we're going to be able to enchant the um, the assassin. So we're just going to hit the assassin plus the warrior. Hopefully burn the bomber as well. Yep, yep. Oh gosh, everybody got hit there. We'll take that damage. For sure. So with the assassin going next, he is probably going to go... He's going to push the... No, he's going to hit the shaman. Okay, I was about to say. You should probably go after the shaman so that I don't enchant everybody, you know? I can still enchant your, shot, uh, your assassin though, bruh. So let's see if we can also make the Frost Fox hit the warrior to heal up a bit. There you go, there you go. Okay, okay. Okay, so everybody's weak and everybody's enchanted. Awesome. So what can we do here? My Paladin goes next, which is obviously not the greatest. Yeah, you can kill off the Shaman if you want to. I don't care. Like I always say in, in, in almost on my every video, if the Shaman, if any enchanting cards already enchanted everybody don't go for it just go for somebody else they're not the most dangerous card if everybody got enchanted you know it's whenever everybody is not enchanted yet that they're the most dangerous but but there you go it's just up to the bomber and the mice bandit to take out both of my troops both of my troops are still healthy super happy with that um okay let's see if we can Hit the bomber and double hit the mice bandit. If we can double hit the mice bandit, that would be super awesome. We did not. But regardless, now the dynamite is doing over 1,000 damage. But the mice bandit needs to figure out a way to deal damage to the paladin and the frost fox. And push them towards the dynamite. Which is pretty difficult. He did push the paladin towards the, towards the dynamite. Wow, he actually took out the paladin. Nicely done. I'll give you that nicely done, but it's already too late. We should definitely take this one in the bag. We actually got the triple hit, and the Frost Fox got his, all of his health back. GG! Don't think that was enough to get to 3,800 trophies. Nope, it was not. Super sad about that, but we got the we got the reward here. Not looking for zombies. Not looking for zombies. The zombie is super close to getting to level 23, but I do not want zombies at all. Do not want zombies. Nope! Of course. 
So we're gonna try to open this epic orb, and fingers crossed we do not get zombies. Under Panda Club, still trying to use your your reverse psychology and see if we can get some zombies, but does not seem like it's working. Come on, come on, come on, let's see. No, I'm not looking for zombies. I'm not looking for shamans either. It did not work. I'm sorry, Hunter Pounder Club, but the, res the reverse psychology is th does not work. I really do try. Let's open another orb, so I'll be right back, guys. A few moments later. And we are back, 3791. Now we do need one more win. And this is for sure. If we can get this win, we'll get to 3800 trophies. So fingers crossed, we're facing a Warlord Blaze. Have not faced this in the ladder yet, and this person has seven thousand trophies how am i gonna win this that is the question i I've, I've won against level 25 players before it's just incredibly difficult um let's heal up the shaman enchant that blaze and hopefully we can enchant somebody else now we actually got the double heal somehow but so all right so the blaze got the buff even with his with her nerf the blaze is still dealing over a thousand damage, and that's base damage, not her ability. Yep, the shaman already died. Yep, there's no way we're gonna win this one. Like, what can you do? Uh, I guess we'll try heal up the naga and hit it, hit her towards the blaze. Now we actually hit the <laughs> warlord. All right, so if we lose the naga, we're just gonna quit the game here or quit the match here. There's just no way. There's just no way, dude. We'll see what happens here. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you doing? That was a big oops. What was that person trying to do? I mean, the best I can do is double hit the blaze with the Naga since the Naga can do damage to her. We actually took out the blaze and healed up the Naga a little bit more. All right, so we do have a chance. Unfortunately, if these troops were enchanted, we would have a, a, a greater chance to win this. But, uh, yeah, I think the Paladin's dead. The Paladin is still alive. Just barely. Golly. We'll hit the Cultist and the Warlord. Hopefully, we can hit the Warlord twice. We missed a double hit on the Warlord, but we were able to double hit the Cultist. We'll take it. Nice Panda goes next, and he is buffed. Um, Definitely going to lose the Naga. He's going after the Naga and burning the Paladin too. Oh yeah, we lost. Good game. There's 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 just no way we're gonna win that one. Against a level 25 player. And look at the shaman! The shaman's huge! <laughs> it's, they still haven't fixed the blaze bug. Which is hilarious to see. I mean it doesn't affect the game at all. It's just the art looks big, you know? Oh, uh, don't think we're going to be able to get to level or 3,800 trophies if we win this. But hopefully we can enchant the Barbarian and maybe even the Mice Bandit. No, nope. We might lose the Shaman now, actually. If he hits the Shaman towards the Assassin and gets that double hit. Yes, so we are facing another predicament here because we don't have the troops enchanted. So we have to rely on base damage, pretty much. Base damage. Can we... Don't think we're going to be able to double hit. Can we double hit the Mice Bandit? I would love to. Yep. Okay. And we actually double hit the Assassin. You know what? We'll definitely take that. And dealing a little bit more damage to the Warrior because the Paladin... Is the Naga dead? Naga is still alive. Okay. So if we can... Don't think we're going to be able to heal. Actually, if we do this, then we can heal. The whole point now is to try to keep the troops alive. Oh my gosh, how did we not make the Naga hit the assassin? We got the heal, but not the not the hit. Like seriously? Not looking not looking too good. Hopefully the frost fox doesn't take too much damage here. Eh, a little bit. A little bit of damage here. Um I guess we'll try to double hit the the barbarian here. Okay, we actually got a little bit of heal thanks to the um, to the barbarian's enchantment, but we may now lose the frost fox here with the uh, with his assassin. Just one hit, please. Got that one hit, and of course the naga died. Um, the warrior going next is not good because if we don't take if we don't heal heal up the frost fox, we're gonna lose. So we need to heal. 
And look at that. We're actually blocking the front uh the warrior from hitting the frost fox. I mean she can still hit the frost fox, but he will need to put a little bit of you know little of his thinking cap. He will need to bounce off the wall and actually hit him if he wants to hit him. The assassin missed. Oh my gosh, that's huge. The assassin missed. Hopefully you can double hit the assassin. Oh, snap, crackle, and pop. Yes, sirree. We got the triple hit, ladies and gentlemen. We might actually win this. The Mice Bandit can definitely make a comeback here. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me that the Frost Fox died. Bro, the Frost Fox died. No way. Come on. Come on, let's try to get a double hit. Oh, triple hit. Thank you so much. We shouldn't have won that, ladies and gentlemen. We shouldn't have won that. And we did, regardless. Let's open this orb, so I'll be right back. A few moments later. And we are back, 3797. Again, just one more win to get to 3800 trophies. And um, we did open every single ad with, or every single orb watching ads. So we just need one win to, to get the orb slots filled and we are good to go. Now, if we can win this one, that would be awesome. So that way we can we can say that we reached 3,800 trophies, and um, um, I think I think we can handle this. Um, sure. The the um the skeleton phoenix combo is dangerous. I how did I miss that golem? That's my question. How did we miss that golem from getting enchanted? Thankfully, that was not he. That was not his greatest play. But we'll enchant that golem for sure. Since he does go next, the golem is literally only doing 88 damage, so he's gonna have to push troops to deal damage. Wow, nicely done there, dude. Nicely done there. Can we enchant his... Oh, you know what? We could just go for the heal. Heal up the shaman. Hopefully. There you go. Burning everybody. Okay. They also did a little bit of damage to the skeleton. We'll definitely take that. This paladin will die, sure. Now, if we can enchant the rest of his troops, um, that would be nice. This phoenix does go next, so let's, I guess we'll enchant the phoenix first. There we go. Did a little bit of damage to the golem as well. Can't complain about that. No siree. Ouch. Ouchie. Um, we might have to just go for... Yeah, we need to try to heal up the frost fox, so we're gonna hit him towards the phoenix. The Phoenix died. Okay. Okay, so we're doing somewhat okay. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh my gosh. No, dude. No way. Um I guess we just try to double hit the Sentinel. Wow, that was insane. Hopefully he does not revive the Phoenix if if he doesn't, we will have a chance. Of course, he actually did it, and he did it awesomely. Great. Great, great, great. We are not going to win this one now. Definitely, for sure, we are not going to win this one. We couldn't even get the double hit on the Phoenix. Yeah, we lost. Um, Thankfully, this person has only 100 trophies less than I do. It's still going to be a lot of trophies regardless. Maybe, well, probably 35 trophies we're going to lose. Probably only 35. 39? Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright, come on. Come on. We need we need a win. We need a win. Sather... Uh, okay, so Sather... Blacksmith combo. Do not enchant the Sather by any means necessary. At least not yet. If he enchants the Sather, then yes. Definitely go for the enchantment. And he will enchant the Sather. Okay, so now we can definitely go for enchantments here. Um, definitely hit the goblin for sure. Oh my gosh, enchant the shaman, or enchant the satyr, that was super close. But we did take out the goblin, which is a dangerous attacker. Okay, so thankfully, thankfully he didn't do too much damage to my troops. Definitely, and go for the enchantment here on the satyr. He said, well played, I'll give him the thanks. Um, and then we have to worry about his mice bandit. And oh my gosh, my frost fox just instantly died, dude. 
instantly died. So I guess we'll enchant the Mice Bandit, and we should be able to heal up the, the, the Shaman a little bit. There you go, we got the heal. Oh my gosh, why didn't we get that hit? Oh my gosh, my dude. What is he gonna do? He's gonna go for the, after the Naga. No, he's gonna enchant both the Seder and the Mice Bandit. Oh my gosh, my Naga died. Wow. Well played. Just wow, that's all I can say. Like, seriously? So we'll deal damage to the Mice Bandit and hopefully can hit the Seder as well. We burnt the Seder, but not much damage. Obviously, we need to go after the Seder and the Mice Bandit. Do not go after the, the Blacksmith. My... Oh my gosh, dude. How are we gonna win this? That is the question. If we can enchant the Mice Bandit, then maybe we have a chance. But golly, this person is playing awesomely. We failed to enchant the Mice Bandit, so yeah. Um, we're gonna lose. We just need one win, my dude. Can we just get that one win? Please? Please, please? Um... Can we- Okay, so let's try to go for the burn on the Seder, for sure. And let's see if we can also double hit the Mice Bandit. By bouncing off the corner. Nope. Oh, well, we did double burn him, so we'll take that burn. Blacksmith going next. We need to focus on the Mice Bandit, dude. We need to focus on the Mice Bandit. Oh, don't hit the Mice Bandit! Oh my gosh, super close. So focus on the Mice Bandit. Hopefully we can get this double hit. Triple! Oh my gosh, why didn't we get the triple hit? Dude! We almost got the triple hit. Golly. That was super close, dude. Yeah, good game. Bro, I'm just trying to get one win now. And now we're just struggling here, my dude. Can we just get one win? That's all I want. Just one win. Please. Alright, so whatever happens, I think we're just gonna end the video after this match. No, what, no matter what happens. So, he's, his my spend is gonna double hit the Paladin, it seems like, and then hit the Naga. No, the Frost Fox. Interesting. So, we can definitely push troops. Or push the shaman forward to enchant hopefully his mice bandit and the sentinel right here. There you go. We actually enchanted both of them. Cool beans. His sorceress goes next. Hopefully he doesn't enchant my troops. At least the frost fox and the naga. Come on, what you gonna do? Okay, so he will enchant the naga sadly. But um... I guess we'll deal damage to the sorceress so that way she can be weakened. Also double hitting the mice spender. That was lucky. That was super lucky. He's probably not gonna hit the the, the shaman yet because the shaman is, is gonna be enchanted and he wants troops to be enchanted, of course. So he's gonna hit the sentinel. Oh my gosh, please don't tell me the frost fox is gonna die. Okay. Um this is not good, guys. I would need to somehow figure out a way to hit the sorceress towards the frost fox. I don't think we're gonna be able to do so. Please? Oh my gosh. We lost. We lost. Oh my gosh, and he gets a double hit too. Yeah, we definitely lost, my dude. No way we're gonna win this one. Absolutely no friggin' way. We'll try to hit the guy's queen and take out the mice bandit though. Nicely done. We actually double hit the Ice Queen. My Spender is dead. And let's see. The Sorceress will, of course, hit the Sentinel. And it's going to go straight for the... Okay. Going straight for the Shaman and the Paladin. Okay. Oh, I... Okay, now I don't know what he wants to do. Yes. Okay, interesting, but he didn't enchant the Paladin, so everybody's enchanted, sadly. So we'll try to enchant his Ice Queen. There you go, we actually enchanted the Ice Queen. The Sorceress is dead, even though that doesn't matter, but at the same time it kind of does, because the Sorceress, even though she is a support card, her damage is insanely high for a support card, like the Banshee, so... Hopefully we don't touch the Sentinel. I honestly hope he misses the Sentinel here. Now he got the Sentinel off. And okay, okay. So we do need to worry about his uh, his ice queen for sure. Well, pretty much everybody else, but especially the ice queen because the ice queen 
I don't think we're gonna win this one, guys. <laughs> oh, get a fourth hit! What? Why did you get a fourth hit, my dude? Imagine getting the fourth hit. Oh my gosh. So we'll double hit the Ice Queen. Hopefully we can hit the Sentinel. Uh, did not hit the Sentinel. We just lost. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I think I lost too many times in, uh, in the ladder, so we're just gonna call it quits. Try to get to 3,800, and I just couldn't. Sadly, I couldn't. But um, what can you do, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. If you guys have any challenge text or recommendations that you want me to use, just let me know and I'll certainly do it. If you guys want to join the clan, there is um, three spots left in the clan. If you guys don't have the trophy requirements, just let me know and I'll, and I'll lower the trophy requirements for you guys to join. If you guys have any ladder deck recommendations that you want to see, that has level 22s or even level 21s just let me know and i'll certainly do a video for you guys thank you so much for watching this video and thanks again for your continued support guys i will see you in the next one take care